In the last tutorial I did for Fusion, I showed you how to use a matte transition. Now, a matte transition has the advantage of having an alpha channel. Now, if you remember, on the rampantdesigntools.com, if you go to the bottom, you can actually download a whole bunch of samples by going to 4kfree.com, signing up for that, and downloading examples. Now, one of the examples that I've downloaded from the free options that you've got there is this style matte. Now this style mat's brilliant because I want say a piece of video footage, let's have a look, I've got this piece of video footage. So I want this piece of video footage to show in here. Okay, now that's very easy to do inside of um, Fusion. But what if I want to be a bit more complicated? What if I want another piece of footage to also show in the background? Well, let's just go through the various options to show you how to do them. And also to say that because this doesn't have an alpha channel, You've got to add another node to make it work, but any black and white image can work just as well. So how do we do it? Well, I've got my 4K rampant design style mat, which as you can see is 4K, and the footage as you can see is 1920 by 1080 HD. So I've already applied a transform node. Here's the transform node. I've just applied it so that it fits, save a bit of time. So all I need to do is take the output from one, so take the output from the transform to the, the footage, that creates a merge node. We can look at the merge node on two. Just hit two on your normal keyboard will do the same. Select the merge node and we can choose an apply mode over here. The apply mode would be multiply. Now, the disadvantage of this is that you cannot then very easily replace the black with my other piece of footage. So here's my other piece of footage now. So say I want this water to fill this gap. I can't do that very easily. So the other way of doing this is to look at this rampant design image here and actually use this as a means of cutting out the video so that I've got an alpha channel, if you like, that's been cut out. So how do I do that? Well, what you need to do first off is disconnect it from the input because this is actually now going to go into the mask input. So I'm going to disconnect it and I want it to go into the mask input. Now remember the purple arrow is the mask input. So if I take it and I put it into the purple input here, nothing is really going to work. This isn't going to work properly um, because of, well, firstly, we multiply. We want to go back to normal at the moment. And what if we did in and no, we're not going to make this work. What we want is our footage set up. So let's take the other footage and put that into the foreground. So foreground, background, there we go. So the foreground and background, this isn't really doing what we want it to do. The mask isn't working because there isn't an alpha channel. So I need somehow to be able to create an alpha channel with this black and white image. And to do that, all you need to do is add in a bitmap mask. So the bitmap mask, if we click it with nothing selected, is a bitmap mask. So what the bitmap mask is going to do is take this as an image file and then allow us to process it so that we can look at the white and the black and create transparency, which will then work in the mask input. So what I want is the output of the transform node, not the mask node, the output of that to go to the input of the bitmap, the output of the bitmap then to go to the mask input of the merge node. Nothing happens. Well, the simple answer is if you look at the bitmap, it's looking for an alpha channel. So what you need to do is change the alpha channel to, because this is black and white, luminance. So if we go to luminance, suddenly it's cut out. And we're seeing the water and the background, and if we want to flip it, select the merge node and do a control command T, which just changes the inputs one over the other. Okay, so it's a very, very simple way of building a much more interesting look by using a bitmap node to be able to take the output of something that doesn't have an alpha channel, and then by looking at the luminance of that item, you can then create the alpha channel needed to drive the mask on the merge node. So it gives you a lot more control. So that's how to use rampant design style mats and paint strokes and any black and white image inside a fusion to create a much more creative look. And bear in mind, of course, that these are actually animated. So as they animate on and they animate off. Okay, and so you can see this art beat footage looks fantastic through the rampant design style mat. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis and thanks for watching.